At ringside are three judges, Siamani, David van Nievenhazen, and Miss Pumeza Zinakile. Our fight supervisor representing the WBA is 2004 International Boxing Hall of Fame inductee Stan Christodoulou. And the third man in the ring when that opening bell goes, our referee is Simon Mokadi. Introducing the challenger to you, he boxes out of the red corner on my left. He weighed in at 66.4 kilograms. As a professional, 17 wins with just a single loss, 13 of those 17 wins coming within the distance. He boxes in the red trunks with black trim. A former two-time South African amateur champion, a bronze medalist at the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Former WBC international champion, former international boxing organization world champion, and the current South African and African Boxing Union welterweight champion. He challenges tonight from East London in the Eastern Cape, South Africa. Please welcome Tulani Evolution Amenge. Out of the champion's blue corner on my right, he weighed in at 65 and a half kilograms. He's a former Gauteng amateur champion. He too has a bronze medal from the Commonwealth Games, but it was the Youth Games in 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue trunks with silver trim, undefeated as a professional, he is at 11 and 0. Five of those 11 wins coming within the distance. Introducing the current IBF Africa champion and the current World Boxing Association Pan-African welterweight champion. He is Jabulani, A.B. McKenzie. Boxers, I give you room. Please obey my room. Let the best man win. Shake hands and good luck. Well, I would say in South Africa right now, there isn't a bigger local match to South Africa's best welterweights. Jabalani McKenzie, in fact, moved David. up to welter from David. junior welter, but he's undefeated and he's fighting a former world champion, a cracker. Box. This is round one. You speak about undefeated. At some stage, Mbenge himself was an undefeated fighter until the July of 2019 when he went to Germany and got beat via a points decision by Sebastian Formula. Well, Mbenge made amends. Mbenge has a, an impressive record since then. Two wins on the trot and the very last one coming against Mzokolo Ndwayana in December last year. Nice jab from McKenzie. Straight right down the middle from Mbengi. These two guys have got class. This can only be a good fight. The views vary. Many say the power, they're talking knockout power, rests with Tulani Mbenge. They want to find out today if mckenzie has got the pop. That's what they want to find out. Oh, two brilliant left hooks there from Tulani Mbengi. He needs to pick his hands up. Break, stop McKenzie, break, stop he's just speaking about the power from Lani. He landed two terrific left hooks. There are problems. It's a slip, says the referee. But there are problems clear Box. in round one. The range, the rhythm, early in this fight is with the man in the red and black trunks. That's Mbengi. And Bengi's looking good. He's landing the left hooks. McKenzie settling down, trying to find range for the jab and go with his combinations. He's a true prospect. He's one for the future. Well, he has to perform tonight. Show his class, show his quality. He has quality. McKenz. Well, in Bengi did say it's a different back. class that McKenzie is fighting in him today, in Bengi. And so far in the first round, he looks the classier of the two, Zimbengi. 
Mackenzie believes he is the true test for Mbenge. That's chair from Jelani Mbenge. I love the Mackenzie composure. He's under pressure, but he sees everything. Ten seconds. Finding an ability to move away from all those punches that Mbenga is trying to throw. No, nothing landed there. Stop! Well, a good opening round. As you said, Tumrani McKenzie slips those punches so well. He moves well side to side. But Mbenga did land two great left hooks in the first minute. And this is an exciting local fight. On hashtag SS Boxing, Zipoma Joga says, spending my Saturday night with some live boxing. So cool, says Zipo Majoka. Well, his, his lip is bleeding at the moment, is the man from the Sean Smith what? stable, Tulani Mbengi. And the red trunks. Fight scheduled stop, for stop, 10 stop. rounds. Don't step on each other's foot, okay. For the WBA right. Pan okay. African what? title. on Mbengi's lower lip is really surprising. Backing off now as Mackenzie gets tagged with a jab from Mbengi. A lot of things may happen in this fight. It's the Mbengi jab, it could be the equalizer, but he also got a great eraser because he brings he, with him that explosive stop, 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 stop. one Don't push him punch down. knockout Don't push him. power. Okay. Mbengi. Yeah, he certainly does. And he, he's looking sharp. Box. And crisp behind the first round. Pops a jab in Bengi. Mackenzie puts back, himself in great positions with his ability to use the ring. Nice, tight defense. He's got to keep that up. Keep those hands up and try and be offensive. He's trying now to land the jab. Now and again, he does succeed. But he's doing ever so good to use the perimeter of the ring. Stop holding, stop holding, stop holding. trying good punches on the inside. There's the combinations from McKenzie. Matching the work rate from Mbenge. That's one for you, one for me on the inside. You'll see it again, Brian. Over and over again. Mackenzie does this so intelligently. It, it's positions, it's territory in the ring where he wants to be. You may think he's against the ropes, he's in trouble, but even there, it's a defensive stance where he uses his legs. And Mbenge, yes, he's successful, but many are missing. Nothing clean lands. Even like that, right. in that situation. Right. Yeah, good counter punching from the champion himself. Mackenzie. Jumbo Lani. Right. Like, like that, all the time. Banger throws the jab, it doesn't land, tries the right hand on top, also ten misses. Seconds. Last 10 seconds of round two. Although Mackenzie is fighting off the back foot, he's had his great successes in this round two. Right. Well, two close rounds so far. You must watch your and eight rounds to go. Well, we're going to see some slow-mo action how it actually happened. Thanks to our cameraman. Oh, 
It was a headbutt from Mackenzie. That was in round one. Oh, that's a perfect picture there from our cameraman. Well done. So it was a, a headbutt actually that split his lip open to Lani Mbengi. Good camera work from Supersport. Round number three. Chabalani McKenzie gives to Lani Mbengi. Who you got? Anybody's fight right now. The offense, Mbengi, the shifting, the movement, trying to command the perimeter of the ring, McKenzie. Brilliant left to throw in Bengi. Ben is going for the kill. He is going for the kill here. He wants to end proceedings now. Uh, he's Nothing going for the big one in Bengi. Throwing that right hand down the middle and the left hook. Stop holding. Break. Stop holding. Stop holding. Tools in Bengi looking very good here around three. Oh, big left hook from Tools in Bengi. And Jabalani McKenzie is hurt here in round three. That's old Tulani in Bengi. Is he hurt though, Brian? I wonder. Yes, it was a clean punch. But I look at him, his eyes are clear. Yes, he holds. It was a clean shot. There's enough time in this round for us to find out. He was tagged with a big left hook. He wants to counter punch with something big. Mackenzie against the ropes. Almost wanting to draw Mbengi into that situation and then counter. He's missed on a couple of occasions. Let's see if it works here. Don't use your head, don't use your head, okay? All right. We are only in round number three. Just watch the size from Mbeng, a broad shoulders, fighting behind the jab, really imposing himself on Mackenzie. He's got Mackenzie on the back foot now, he's in Bengi. Right. I said don't hit at the back. Mackenzie needs don't to come forward, get more competitive. The landing Bengi to dictate the pace here in round three. It's a big right hand from oh, Mbengi. Now he's got him hand. Right now hand. he's done him. Oh, the, the fight's on my side. The ref stopped the fight. Unbelievable stuff here. Tulani and Bengi has won by KO in round three. Wow. Unbelievable stuff. Sean Smith is so ecstatic in the ring. Stool, stool. And George Smith, a fantastic victory. Tulani Bengi did say that at different levels. And he proved why he's the former IBO welterweight champion of the world as he knocks out Jabalani McKenzie. Great stuff. Tulani McKenzie has been knocked out in round number three by Tulani Mbengi. Wow. What a great stoppage. And so early, nobody expected it. Ali Shati within three, which is unbelievable. Wow. I don't think anybody in the country expected that, other than maybe Sean Smith and Tulani Mbengi. Amazing. Well, he's a very, very, very happy man, and why not Tulani Mbengi? Right left hook. Oh, that big left hook staggered his man. Here comes the right hand. 
Oh, big left hooks. That left hook just finished the job. The referee steps in and stops the fight. Wow, fantastic victory there. For Jelani and Bengi from the Sean Smith stable. He's so happy. Uh, Undala. Uh, um no mani. We are the issue. Undala, a ring in it. Sturo Sakeleso, a umbang, a young is among having it. Dala, we got the little lag in Dava. Ute, a umnoja, a umoman. Umbang. We're going to get the official time of the stoppage then from our ring announcer, uh, Duncan Pollock. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give you the time. Ahead of me doing so on my left is the operations executive of Emperor's Palace, Clive Tavener, who will be handing over the belt. And on my right is our WBA fight supervisor, Stan Christodoulou. The results with referee Simon Mukadi calling it into at two minutes and 43 seconds into the third round. The winner by technical knockout. And now the South African ABU and WBA Pan-African welterweight champion from East London, Tulani Evolution Mbengi! Oh, Paspio, says, I'm enjoying this boxing, says Mbengi, wow, there he is then. He went over the ropes, looked at the promoter Rodney Berman and screamed, I'm back, unbelievable, Tulani Mbengi. This is a situation that he has been waiting for for years and years and years to be back at the top. I said he's trying to climb the mountains, he's climbed before. Now he's displayed yet again the brilliant punching power, the superb boxing skills right here on your world of champions. It's Mbangi.